previously on our Passion Week devotional. Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. Not me, Jesus. This is my body. This is the blood of my covenant. Jesus has his supper, last supper, as a moment to teach his disciples that what he is about to do by going to the cross and offering his blood, he is fulfilling the covenant that brings man and God together. Abba Father, with you all things are possible. Please take this cup from me. It is your will, Lord, but not mine. My name's Kurt Joyner. Welcome to today's uh, Passion Week devotional. Today we're going to take you into an especially important moment in Jesus's life uh, and remember when he went to the Garden of Gethsemane. Uh, the Gospels tell us a lot about this moment, but it is a, it's a time of sorrow. It's a time of anguish for Jesus. You know, the definition of sorrow is a deep feeling of distress. And we know that Jesus was deeply distressed and, and anguish, the definition of anguish is severe mental or physical pain or suffering. And so there was a lot going on inside Jesus because Jesus was 100% man, but he was also 100% God. Peter, John, James, wake up. Could you not stay awake for one hour? Keep watch. You must pray. The spirit is willing, but the flesh, the flesh is weak. Because he is God, he knew the future. He knew what the Father's plan was. And he had even spoken about his death and his resurrection during his ministry. But now the actual time had come. And he sees the cross and he sees the crucifixion ahead of him. And he knows what he's going to have to endure. And his humanity is wrestling with the excruciating pain and suffering that lies ahead. He, he was about to take on all the sins of the world for you and me he's feeling overwhelmed the bible tells us in matthew 26 38 he says my soul is crushed to the point of death and he says to the disciples stay here and keep watch with me where where do you and i typically go when we feel overwhelmed with pain and suffering and, and our souls may be crushed where do we go? Well, Jesus shows us where we should go. He says he, he went to his knees and he prayed. And so he takes his three best friends. He takes Peter, James, and John to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. And he tells them to pray and keep watch. He leaves them and, and just walks a few feet away. And he gets down on his knees and on the ground and he's praying and he's praying for an hour father he says in Luke he says father if you're willing please take this cup of suffering away from me yet I want your will to be done not mine he's crying out to God for help and he's not sugarcoating how he feels yet he still submitted his feelings and his will to the father's will 
Have you ever been that overwhelmed? Crushed by the weight of your problems or your circumstances? Jesus knows how you feel. It's okay if you cry out to God and tell him what you're going through. He loves you and he wants to help you. It says in Luke 22, 44, that, that Jesus continued to pray more fervently and he was in such agony of spirit that, that his sweat fell to the ground like great drops of blood. And, and I looked this up and there's actual a condition and it's called hematidrosis. And it says that it occurs if an individual is under extremes, le extreme levels of stress. It's very, very rare. But if an individual's under an immense amount of stress, they could actually sweat blood. Blood. None of us, at least I know I haven't, have had been in that point of stress and agony where Jesus was. But for hours, Jesus continued to pray. And three times he went back to Peter, James, and John. And each time he did, they were asleep. They weren't there for him. He, he might have wanted some encouragement, but each time he came back, they had fallen asleep. And, and Luke tells us that they were exhausted from grief. They didn't have to go through what Jesus was going through, but just the weight of the moment had them exhausted. H have you ever been let down repeatedly? by your closest friends or family members? Jesus knows how you feel. Jesus was betrayed. He was beaten, he was whipped, he was mocked, he was scourged, and ultimately he was crucified so that he could have a relationship with you and me. He loved us that much. You know, John 3:16 says, for this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. It says God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. Thank you, Jesus, for battling in the Garden of Gethsemane and, and thinking about us, you and me, and for laying down your life for our sins so that we could be saved. Wake up. That's enough. The time has come. My betrayer, he approaches. Come, let us go.